the Gizmo 305. Today, man, we have an amazing epic unboxing and review of Elite Series 61. I cannot believe I'm saying that, guys. Elite Series 61. We're already gone through 61 series of Elite action figures. Man, thanks to those guys at Mattel. Thank you, guys. These figures are amazing. I know you guys have been waiting for this review. I know you guys have been waiting. You've let me know. Here's the review, guys. We're going to unbox this. We're going to open them up. Take a look at them. I will, I've been waiting for this figures for a while now. Mainly, you guys know me. Big AJ Styles fan, so that figure right here oh my god i cannot wait to get my hands on that I, i'm just anxious right now i am super pumped super excited guys Big E completing my set of the new day that guy is awesome i cannot wait to open this figure guys so let's go ahead open them up take them out of the package and let's review them now all right guys and we're going to start this review with none other than the fashion Police, Tyler Breeze, Fandango, Breeze Sango. I could not wait to get figures of this, guys. I know I have Fandango figures. I have Tyler Breeze figures. But just in this attires, like, it's amazing to know that we have elites now of Breeze Sango, the gimmick. It's amazing. It's just amazing. I'm at a loss for words. I, I opened this figures up. I could not believe the detail. Mattel is doing an amazing job killing it with the detail, the accessories, everything that they include with these figures. So let's just take a look at them. We're going to start with Fan Dango. Now I'm going to bring him up close here, guys, for you to take a look at the face and the head scan that Mattel has given this figure. Super, super cool uh, on that job from Mattel. Now, I am going to show you that some of his parts are removable. So if you guys want to go ahead and uh, take off the hat, we can do that. Um, it actually is, if I'm going to bring it right in on here, guys, is the same style hat that came with Dean Ambrose, just in white, as you guys can see right there. Uh, same hat, nothing much different about it. Uh, it does come with a pair of uh, shades, as you can see there, and the shirt. This is Bree Sango on the front of it, uh, Fandango, and Fandango or Fashion Patrol, it says on the front as well. I'm going to remove the glasses now so I can show you right there. They are removable, and man, so is the shirt. So the cool thing is, these are cloth shirts, so all you got to do is just grab your figure, go on the back like so, and just, you know, pull from there, and your shirt should come right off. This is not a rubber top. Mattel finally seems to start listening to the figure community and giving us uh, cloth shirts and uh, yeah, this is super cool. There's the head scan now without the glasses and the hat. Look how cool Fandango looks. I love the detail on the beard. Love the detail on the hair. It just looks like Fandango, guys. This is amazing. And also, want to point out, the torso to me, it does seem accurate for Fandango. Now, I don't know what you guys think. But to me, it does look like the torso for Fandango. Detail on the pants right there. It does say uh, Bree Sango on the front has some sort of like handcuffs right there on the side. It says fashion do not what? Something about fashion. And then it has the Fandango logo on the bottom. White on the shoes. I cannot read what that says. It just says do not. But okay, I can read what it says on the back, which is fashion popo. So he is the fashion police right there. So uh, yeah, on the side, same writing, same design of Fandango, white boots right there. So you guys can see they did add his uh, tattoo work there. If you guys want to take a look at that, look on the uh, forearm with uh, black um, arm tape right there. And on this side, more black arm tape. Overall, this is a super cool figure. Elite articulation, of course, as you would expect with an elite action figure. Super tight torso. As I haven't even gotten a chance to mess with this, I have been waiting for you guys to uh, take a look at these figures. And up next, before he falls off back here, uh, we have the other half of Breeze Sango, right? Which is Tyler Breeze. Now, Tyler Breeze, guys, super, super cool. Same hat, same glasses, but now he comes with a pink... Uh, selfie stick right he came with a blue one 
uh, with the uh, Walmart, I believe it was a Walmart figure, Walmart exclusive that they now forever's uh, first line. Same removable hat as the uh, Fandango, same removable glasses. Uh, but yeah, as well as the shirt and the selfie stick, you can uh, he can choose to hold it or come right off, put it on the side for now. Uh, let's look at the figures. Well, he does come with the same uh, cloth top, so we're going to remove that now. Just so I can show you exactly how both are the same. Same thing, same procedure to take it off if you choose to, to do so. There it is. Now let's take a look at the figure. And of course, well, we start with that head, right? And man, that does look gorgeous. Look at this figure, guys. Ponytail on the back, different head scan, completely different head scan for this figure. Mattel went all out on this Tyler Breeze. Look at that face. Oh my God. On the wrist tape right there. Uh, kind of like, I don't know. I don't know why that looks like a wrist tape right there. He usually has like some sort of like gauntlets there. They are like made of um, like fur or like feather, feathery, yeah, material as well on the belt. But you know, Mattel couldn't make those for us, right? They, they did do on the boots on the bottom part, you know, the the little uh, fur that he has or feathers that go on the bottom of the boots right there in pink and black. Same design on the side practically than Fandango, just in a different uh, line. Instead of going straight, it goes kind of like in a swerve going up. And uh, on the back also, it says Fashion Popo and uh, Tyler as well here. He has, I believe it looks like a nightstick right there. And on this side, the handcuffs as well. The badge that says Brisango right there as well. And also elite articulation with these figures, which is what to me is a big plus that we did get them on basic. It was in a battle pack. And now I'm super excited that we have them on an elite action figure. And they both came on the same series, which is super awesome. They also come with the artwork on the back done by uh, Rob. So if you guys do collect art by Rob, this is going to complete that collection for you uh, of the fashion police so there is the review and the accessories for the fashion police so now let's get to the rest of the figures on the set all right guys and up next we have big e now this guy man has the moves he has the pecs he has the muscles he is the muscle of the new day and man is the figure that i needed to complete that set and yeah i need to take a look at this and i gotta show you guys exactly what this big e comes with and how he looks super cool upon opening the box the first thing i noticed and i'm gonna point that out right off the bat so let's just go ahead and get started um it's a removable jacket but this is a rubber jacket so you might need both hands because you will struggle as you can see me struggling to get this off right there now I'm gonna turn it around I'm gonna put the figure down because now here comes the moment let me just show you the jacket first of all it does have that ice cream design on the back uh, the same colors of the red white and blue the biggie uh, wears well the whole new day actually wore a one episode when they had that feud with the uh usos and man did the usos kind of burn on the new day uh, a bit but i guess at the end of the day they ended up winning the battle so let's put this back here and here is the thing i wanted to point out first bring in the figure i know we do a head scan first but this time around we're going to start with the kicks look at this guys let, let me do this so you can zoom in. Look at the design on the boots. Now you can tell they're yellow, right? But man, that got dark quick. My arm goes on the way. There it is. Look at that. Look at that design. Super freaking awesome. Right there. Wow, I had to point that out. Now let's take a look at the head scan, which is next. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that head scan. That 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 is like a screaming head. Uh, not a big fan of screaming heads myself. I don't know you guys Side right there The back of the figure right there. I don't know and then the attire Same red white and blue with the stripes on the side a bunch of ice cream heads right there with their tongues sticking out 
Uh, yeah, right torso for Biggie. I really am really digging this torso for Biggie because he is a larger guy and also on the legs. I mean, you can just like fill it off of the figure on the legs. That uh, extra, you know, build to him that, you know, he has. And the arms right there. Black uh, wrist tapes on both arms. And yeah, the attire that I had been waiting for. But man, I cannot get over those shoes. Look at them. Look how cool, guys. On the inside, on the outside, super detailed figure. Like, Mattel went a lot on this biggie. And like I did tell you guys at the beginning of the video, the whole reason why I needed this figure. Three, two, one. Ta-da! There you guys have it. So I can complete, as of today, the set of the brand new SmackDown Live Tag Team champions now look how cool that looks guys now, now i'm gonna bring you guys in up close so that you guys can take a look at this look how cool to have kofi xavier biggie right there holding the titles holding the smackdown live tag team championship this is super awesome to have this set of the new day so yeah guys super pumped super happy that i'm able to f actually have all three of them they look awesome together. You got to add this figure to your collection if you don't have them. So, yeah, they're a must. Now, let's get to the next figures because how can we top this off? But we are going to try. So, to the rest of the figures on the set. Alright, guys. And so now, continuing, like we said, the New Day Amazing. Now, next, as I told you, we tried to top it off. And it's just right that I review this two figures like so because when it comes down to the attire this superstars are wearing right here in the night so here's the moment Shane O'Mac jumping off the top of Hell in a Cell last year in a match against this guy in a rivalry that guys went on for a long time all the way to Wrestlemania to the return of Daniel Bryan which you know, we saw a lot of cool things that night. We saw Sami Zayn finally turning heel and joining KO for a little while. Uh, also sending wishes to Zami now that we're talking about him. Get well soon, man. We miss you on the universe. We want to see you back on our TVs. But, man, was I freaking out a couple of weeks ago when I saw KO quit. I could not believe what I heard. My ears did not want to believe what they heard. I took here to YouTube. I asked you guys what's going on. I'm so glad he's back. I'm so glad that, you know, he's not gone. I hope they use him uh, better. You know, writers need to get their hands on and do something with this guy, man. Like, he, he is awesome. Put him on a great storyline. Don't let this guy go. But back to the review, guys. Let's take a look first at KO because I'm talking about KO, right? So let's bring him up close and show you the figure. There's the head scan. Now, I did tell you. This new head scan, this print technology is insane. Now I'm going to take his accessories, which is a United States Championship. That's what he comes with. Because at the time, it all started over this, right? It all started over the United States Championship, where he felt, KO felt robbed of the U.S. title coming to SmackDown when, you know, he had that feud with AJ, Shane O'Mac, you know, uh, kind of playing favoritism to AJ for a little bit, which, you know, one of my favorite superstars, but I gotta be honest, he kind of did, uh, KO kind of using his, uh, heel gimmick to the fullest on that time, also comes with a microphone, which I'm going to remove right there so that we can take a better look at the figure, but first, here's the microphone that he comes with right there, has a WWE logo on two sides, and that's about it, but yeah, man, Kevin Owens, amazing just an amazing overall uh superstar there is the new face print technology look at that wow i am mind blown by that look that face it looks like heyo i mean i think what it's missing is just the the spiky hair but the beard the overall head it is ko now let me show you the back of the head right there and yeah no design on the back of the shirt Let's turn it back around. It does have the KO right there on the front with a little bit of a great outline there. As you guys can see, the wrist uh, and arm uh, hand tape right there. does have his tattoo on the inside. It says uh, live on this side of, of our live. And uh, here it does have the uh, bull tattoo that a lot of people make reference to The Rock 
but he cleared the air out in in uh, Corey Graves' show. Uh, I believe a Superstar Inc. and said that's not the reason of the tattoo, and he explained the reason there. KO on the side of the shorts. Let me bring that in right there. We saw that design before on uh, his previous Elite. Same shorts here says fight, and the boots, which I am really loving. This boots, the the design of them is the accurate. Boots that KO is wearing on days for a long time. They're really stubborn with the old uh, design uh, boots, and Mattel kept just, you know, cranking them up, cranking them up with that old style boots. But now KO finally getting the right boots. Uh, I believe the the last two elites came with those exact same boots. So super happy that they're keeping it uh, going for the future. Now let's take a look at Shane O'Mac, and I gotta tell you this, Shane O. My God, the ringside exclusive was amazing. Look at the head on this Shane O'Mac. Super cool, cool head. Look at that. With a little bit touch of a gray there. Like, you know, we're used to Shane O having the Shane O'Mac on the front of the shirt right there. So you guys can see there the sign on the side of the shirt. I don't know what that logo is for. If any of you have any idea and can let me know in the comments, I'd appreciate it. But here's the part that I love about this figure. WWE Authentic Wear logo. So what you have on your shirts, Mattel is not printing that. And I hope they keep doing that for all the future shirts they put on, on Superstars. Just plain black uh, pants right there. But the design goes on the bottom of the shoes in red right there. Look how cool that is, guys. Have red on the bottom of the uh, sneakers there. Shane O'Mac on the front of the shirt there, right? as you can see on red. And then when you turn it around to the back, it does say the money and hell in a cell. Super cool. So now that I've shown you uh, what these figures look like and what they come with, now I'm going to show you and try to recreate as close as I can that moment from Hell in a Cell. Now he does come, like I said, with the announcer's table right here. We've seen that table before. But now let's try to see if Shane O'Mac can take the same fall once again. All right, guys, now we're going to try to recreate the moment. So there is KO. Now we're going to have to have, look at Sammy coming in, trying to move right away. Oh, my God, Shado Mac. Shado Mac just untied Sammy Sane, saving his friend from complete destruction. Look how Shane landed. That is a very funny way for Shane to land. So I'm going to turn him like that. Oh my god, just like it happened on the event. This is super awesome, guys. I do recommend you guys picking up this figure. If you got, guys want to go ahead and recreate this like I did, this is so much fun. So now let's get to the rest of the figures on the set. And all right, guys, we are back now. I know I did tell you the rest of the figures on the set, but there's only one figure left, and that is none other than the Phenomenal A. J Styles. Now this figure, I gotta tell you guys, I am loving. I do have literally every single AJ that has come out that Mattel has produced. I'm a big AJ fan, number one superstar right now. Just followed by a really high second Seth freaking Rollins is my second favorite superstar. But let's take a look at this figure because it does have a lot of similarities to an old figure that Mattel has produced which it was the Toys R Us exclusive now that was on a white attire I am trying to find out if this figure does look or have some similarities to that attire so let's do that now but first let's start with the accessories now as you can tell it does come with that jacket but with the jacket you do get this hood right here so if you want to make him uh, have a cool entrance where he has the, the hood uh, kind of up, you know, where he's like posing ready to, you know, before when it used to be a spiral right now, just, just ready to, you know, spread those arms open and show the world how phenomenal he is. You can use this. Or if you are after, uh, trying to use an after uh, entrance attire when he's in the ring, you get this piece where it makes it look like the hood is down. And uh, super cool pieces from Mattel. I mean, for me, they're really hard to, you know, put on mainly with this new uh, head scan and uh, the hairstyle that they use for this figure. It's quite hard for me, but, you know, I still use them from time to time. So now let's take a look at the actual figure. So we are always going to start with the head scan. And this figure has by far the best head scan for an AJ Styles I've seen ever since Mattel started producing these figures. Now from the hair, really similar to Elite 56 on the hair, 
But what does it for me mainly is none other than the face. Now they have that face print technology as you guys can see it right there. It looks next to live. That AJ Styles looks so real guys. Uh, same jacket that you get with Elite 56 with the uh, silver uh, pieces right here on the front to kind of like, you know, close it down. On the back, it does have the P1 in white logo right there, as well as these little like, um, I want to say this are like little studs all around the jacket. Uh, it's a removable uh, rubber material, but it's not the hard material that you have to struggle with. This, this comes fairly easy if you know you you're using your figure so it comes right off compare to the one with biggie which you know it was really hard to get off a lot of those long coats are really hard to get off so now let's take a look at the attire and the figure itself now we're going to start with the gloves on one side in red it does have the black um middle piece right there on the middle fingers right there going aj styles right there printed on there the blue on the armband that he wears right right there he doesn't i don't know if he still wears it i haven't actually paid attention but it looks super cool how he was matching this is from his united states championship run uh on the side right there you do see the p1 in the red white and blue with red and blue stripes black tights right there the stars p1 logo one boot is in red with the front one right there in black and red with some uh white on this side you get phenomenal in like a blue outline with white uh i don't know if it's just my figure but i noticed this kind of like red line going across here i want to know if this is like some error from factory if it's just my figure but this is supposed to be blue because this side it's supposed to be a blue uh colored boot right there as you can see right there in front of you uh, with the white outline and now on this side the AJ logo just says AJ right there let me bring it up close for you guys there it is and the same uh, red white and blue and on top it has some sort of Japanese writing which I'm sure it's, it's something like phenomenal or AJ Styles that should spell but one cool thing about this figure that I want to point out besides the fact that Mattel keeps giving us that uh, hairy chest that I don't see him wear no more. I don't know why Mattel is so so uh, Really obsessed with giving us that that torso with that hair there. He is not Joey Ryan He should not be having that much hair But one thing I'm gonna thank him for is that tattoo right there if you can see They gave us the fourth tattoo from his most recent uh, daughter right there Super cool how they made that fit on the torso. The AJ tattoo right there also on the side. Super cool. Uh, and now on the back of the elbow pad is a red uh, P1 logo. Now the other one, the other uh, figures, other elites and basics that he's come with, they come in a white. This is a red uh, logo right there. Super cool to see that. So now let me just go ahead and grab that Toys R Us figure and let's take a look at both of them together and see what similarities they have and if they are in, in fact the same exact figure, just different attire. So let's go ahead and do that now. Alright guys, so there are the figures. So now let's take a look at this figure right here and let's compare them. So let me go ahead and remove, first of all, the jacket. Now look, let me just show you, first of all, the design on this one. A lot different. It looks more like the Elite 56 jacket for the new 57 uh, AJ Styles. This was actually all matching in white. With the red he did not have the red here on the elbow pad it was white so the one thing i'm noticing before i even remove the jacket so that we can compare uh the tights and the colors from this figure is that the red and the blue the way that he wore this attire are completely opposite now if you want to look at them i'm going to put them side by side how on uh, the elite 57 the red glow is on the left uh, arm and the blue on the Toys R Us is on the left instead of the right so let's bring them up close like I told you pretty close on the head scans almost the same exact scan uh, the, the Elite 57 though has got to be the better one in my opinion uh, as I was telling you right there this one has the other color glove here 
close to the same armband here now we're going to do the red one on this side and the blue uh the elite uh, 61 i'm sorry should i say it has um a little bit of a darker blue than the toys r us one and when it comes to the boots well the same thing goes uh on this side is uh the opposite in red instead of blue and if we turn it the logos i don't know the, yeah they're they're different completely different uh figures a lot of similarities but yeah they are completely different figures there are figures on their own and i put the elite uh 56 there because you know what that figure has got to be some of this three have got to be the top three figures ever produced of aj styles i cannot wait to see what mattel makes next but super excited right now i gotta say my favorite of all of them I don't know still has to be this figure still has to be the elite 56 it's something about the blue it's just blue all over the figure super cool uh same head scan like i tell you as the toys r us they had not done that uh face print technology on it still got to be my favorite but eh, the elite 61 is it's a super super close second now one other thing i need to tell you it does not come with the knee pads so if you do pick up elite 61 aj you're gonna have to put knee pads of your own hopefully you do have some extra one laying around i know i do so i'm going to add those uh as soon as i can on this figure to try to make it look a little bit more like you know aj styles does so yeah guys i hope you guys love all of the reviews of these uh figures the whole line of elite series 61 as always this has been gizmo 305 talk to you guys on my next video